Hello students, today we will start with MBA 301 Strategic Management Semester for Semester 3. So uh, we have seen three units. Today we will start with External Assessment, that is Unit 4. So uh, introduction, at time of fast growth, rapid changes and cutthroat competition has exist in all about all industries. It is a challenge for the companies to establish a strategic agenda for dealing with this contending currents and to grow despite them. A company must understand how the above currents work in this industry and how they affect the company in its particular situation. For this, a very useful tool is used by the analyst. The name of this tool is external analysis. Okay. External assessment is a step where a firm identifies the opportunities that could benefit it and threats that it should avoid. It includes monitoring, evaluating, and disseminating of information from the external and internal environments to key people within the corporation. So concept of environment, what is environment? Environment literally means the surrounding external objects that affect the uh, industry influences or circumstances under which someone or something exists okay it is surrounding or external objects the environment of any organization is the aggregate of all the conditions events and influences that surrounds and affect it now is key the challenge of this business uh, environment refers to all the external forces which have a bearing on the functioning of the business. So, uh, George and Glucke have defined the environment as the environment includes factors outside the firm which can lead to opportunities or a threat to the firm. Although there are many factors, the most the important of the sectors are socio-economic, technological supplier and competitor and government. The recent changes in tariff rates have changed the toy industry of India with the market now being dominated by Chinese products. Okay, so all the toy industry is dominated by the Chinese toy products. A slight change in the Reserve Bank of India's monetary policy can increase or decrease interest rates in the market. A slight shift in the government's fiscal policy can shift the whole demand curve towards the right or the left. So here we will see the importance of business environment, that is external assessment, including the environment. So one first one importance of business environment, that is environment is a complex. The environment consists of number of factors, events, conditions, which affects or uh, influences arising from different sources. All these interact with each other to create new sets of the influences. So environment is a complex uh, system. It is a dynamic. The environment by its very nature is a constantly changing one. So it is dynamic. Environment is multifaceted. The same environmental trends can have different effects. So on the different industries, okay, on the different industries. So it is multifaceted. It has a far-reaching impact. The environment has a far-reaching impact on the organization that the growth and profitability of an organization depends critically on the environment in which it is exits. Its impact on different firms within the same industry differs. A change environment may have different bearings on various firms operating in the same industry. In pharma, example, in pharmaceutical industry in India, for instance, the impact of the new IPR, that is uh, intellectual property right law, will differ for research-based pharmacy companies such as Ranvaxi or Dr. Reddy's lab and will be different for smaller pharmacy companies. 
six so importance is it may be an opportunity as well as trade to expansion developments in the general environment often provides opportunities for expansion in terms of both the product and markets changes in the environment can change the competitive scenario general environmental changes may alter the boundaries of an industry and change the nature of its competition this has been the case with the deregulation in the telecom sector in india since deregulation every second year new competitors emerge old host becomes friends and even is come follow every new regulations sometimes development are difficult to predict with any degree of accuracy macroeconomic development such as interest rate fluctuation the rate of inflation and exchange rate variations are extremely difficult to predict on a medium or long term basis on the other hand some trends such as demographic and income levels can be easy to forecast so next we will see porter's five force analysis okay in 1979 the harvard business review published in the article how competitive forces shape the strategy by the harvard professor michael porter it started a revolution in the strategic field in subsequent uh, subsequent decades porter's five forces have shaped a generation of academic research and the business practice this unit explores how competitive analysis can be done using porter's five forces model okay the different five forces which affects the organization's strategy so the five forces in essence the job of the strategist is to understand and cope with the competition how ever managers define competition too narrowly as it as if it occurs only among today's direct competitors yet competition for profits goes beyond established industry rivals it includes four other competitive forces as well uh, like customers supplier potential entrants and sub substitutes the five forces model developed by my you know uh, michael e porter has been one of the most commonly used analytical tool for examining the competitive environment okay this five forces model is used to a uh, analytical tool for examining the uh, environment according to this model the intensity of the competition in an industry depends on five basic forces these are threat of the new entrants intensity of rivalry rivalry among industry competitors bargaining power of the buyers bargaining power of the suppliers threat of substitute products and services each of these forces affect the firm's ability to compete in a given in given market they can determine the profit potential for a particular industry so next is forces that shape the competitive competition the configuration of the five forces differ from industry to industry for example in the market for commercial aircraft fierce rivalry among existing competitors airbus and boeing in the bargaining power of buyers of aircraft are strong while the threat of entry the threats of the substitutes and the power of suppliers are more b and thus the strongest competitive force or forces determine the profitability of an industry and becomes the most important to strategy formulation the threat of new entrant the we will see the five forces the first of porter's five forces model is the threat of new entrant as the new entrant brings new capacity and often substantial resources to an industry with the desire to gain the market share okay this is threat of the new entrants established companies already operating an industry often attempt to discourage new entrants from entering the industry to protect their share of the market and profits particularly when big 
new entrants are diversifying from other markets into the industry, they can leverage existing capabilities and cash flows to the shake up the competition. So example, Pepsi did this when it entered the bottle water industry. Microsoft did when it begins to offer internet browsers and Apple did when it entered the music distribution business, okay? So this is trade to new entrants. Next is barriers to entry. Entry barriers depends on the advantages that existing companies have relative to new entrants. There are seven major sources. Economies of scale. These are relative cost advantages associated with large volume of production that lowers a company's cost structure. Product differentiation, brand loyalty is bias preference for the differentiated products of any established company. Brand, okay, is important. Strong brand loyalty makes it difficult for new entrants to take market share away from their established companies. Capital requirements, the need to invest large financial resources in order to compete can deter new entrants. Okay. Then uh, switching costs, switching costs are the one-time costs that a customer has to bear to switch from one product to another. Customer has to bear the, this cost, okay? Enterprise resource buying software is an example of the product with very high switching cost, okay? Access to distribution channels. The new entrants need to secure a distribution channel for the product can create a barrier to entry. For example, a new food item may have to displace or display orders from supermarket shelf via price bags, promotions, intense selling efforts, or some other means. Timex did this uh, in watch industry in 1950, okay? Cause disadvantages independent of size. Some existing companies may have advantages other than size or economies of the scale. These are derived from proprietary technology, profit, preferential access to raw materials, so this government subsidies, favorable geographical locations. These are the factors. Expected retailation, okay, retailation. How new entrants believe that the existing companies may react with other also influence their decision to enter or stay out of the interest industry. New entrants are like to fear expected retaliation if existing companies have previously responded vigorously to new entrants. Existing company possesses substantial resources to fight back. Existing company seems like to cut prices to protect their market share and industry growth is low, so new farmers can give volume. Okay, these are the fears expected retaliation. Intensity of rivalry among competitors. The second of the Porter's five force model is the intensity of rivalry among established companies within an industry. Rivalry means the competitive struggle between the companies in an industry to gain the market share from each other. Okay. The competition or struggle. The intensity of rivalry in, is greatest under the following condition. Numerous competitors or equally powerful competitors. When there are many competitors in an industry, if the competitors are roughly of equal size or power, the intensity of rivalry will be more. Slow industry growth. Slow industry growth turns competition into fight because the only path to growth is to take sales away from the competitor. High fixed but low marginal cost. This creates intense pressure for competitors to cut the prices below their average cost. Okay. Lack of differentiation or switching cost. If the products or the services of rivals are identical and there are few switching costs. 
okay this encourages the competitors to cut prices to win new customers capacity augmentation in large increments if the only way a manufacturer can increase capacity is in large increment such as building a new plant it will run that new plant at very full capacity to keep its unit cost low high exit barriers exit barriers keep a company from leaving the industry exit barriers can be economic strategic or emotional factors that keep the firms competing even though they may be earning lower negative returns on their investment bargaining power of the buyers the third of the quarter's five competition forces is the bargaining power of the buyers bargaining power of buyers refers to ability of the buyers to bargain down prices charged by the firms in the industry there are few buyers if there are few buyers or each one does bulk purchases they then they have more bargaining power the products are standard and undifferentiated if the products purchased from the firm are standard or undifferentiated the buyers can easily find alternative sources of the supplies the fire the buyers faces low switching cost <clears throat> If the switching cost is low, then buyers can easily switch from one firm product to another. The buyer earns low profit. If the buyer is under pressure to trim its purchasing cost, the buyer is price sensitive and bargaining. The quality of buyer's product. If the quality of buyer's product is little affected by industry product, buyers are more price sensitive. Bargaining power of suppliers. The fourth. I forces model is the bargaining power of the suppliers. Suppliers are companies that supply raw material. Powerful suppliers make more profits by changing higher prices, limiting quality or services, or shifting the cost to industry participants. Few suppliers. There is a, a supplier bargaining power will be high under the following condition. Few suppliers product is differentiated. Dependence of supplier group on the firm, importance of the product or the firm, threat of forward integration, lack of substitutes. Okay, these are the some of the conditions. Threats of substitute products. The fifth of uh, quarters five forces model is the threat of substitute products. A substitute performs the same or a similar function as the industry product. Video conference are the substitute for travel. Plastic is a substitute for aluminium. Email is a substitute for mail. Okay, these are the different substitutes. In of uh, so industry analysis. Next, we will see industry analysis. Each business operates among a group of the firms that produce competing products or services. No one has an industry. Okay, an industry is thus a group of firms producing similar products or the services. By similar products, we mean products that customers perceive to be substitutes for one another. Example firms that produce and sell textiles such as Reliance Tex, uh, Textile, Raymond, S. Kumas, etc., belongs to the textile industry. Similarly, the firms that produce PCs such as Apple, Compaq, IBM belongs to the microcomputer industry. Framework for industry analysis. Two important components: industry environment and competitive environment. This is external assessment, that is the environment which affects on the industry or the organization. The following are the aspects to be covered in the above analysis, like industry analysis, its feature, industry features, boundaries, environment, structure, performance practices. Okay. And the competitive analysis basically addresses two questions: which firms are 
our competitors what factors shape competition in any industry industry analysis industry features differ uh, the features are differ significantly so amazing companies industry begins with identifying the industries economic features and forming a picture of the industry landscape these features includes size market growth rate geographic boundaries number and sizes of the competitors product innovations okay industry boundaries all the firms in the industry are not similar to one another firms within the same industry could differ across various parameters such as breadth of the market product service quality geographical distribution level of vertical integration profit motives <clears throat> third is industry environment it is based on two types fragment fragmented industry it consists of large number of small or medium sized companies none of which is in position to determine industry price consolidated industries it is dominated by small number of large companies or in extreme cases by just one company okay that is monopoly according to michael porter industries can be categorized into emerging industry uh, introductory or growth phase of the life cycle mature industry who reach the maturity stage of their life cycle declining industry these are the industry which are in transition stage from maturity to decline global industry these are with manufacturing bases and marketing operations in several several countries industry structure defining an industry's boundaries is incomplete without an understanding of its structural attributes industry structure consists of four elements concentration it means the extent to which industry sales are dominated by only a few firms economics of scale this is an uh, important determinant of for competition in an industry from that enjoy economies of scale can change charge lower prices than their competitors product this differentiation real perceived differentiation of an entity by competition among existing firm barriers to entry barriers to entry are the obstacles that our firm must overcome to enter an industry industry attractiveness it depends on the factors like profit growth prospect competition barriers industry performance this requires an examination of data relating to production sale profitability technological advances industry practices industry practices refers to what a majority of players in the industry do with their products pricing promotion distribution industry future prospect innovation trends products life cycle rate of the competitive analysis the degree of competition in an industry is influenced by number of forces to establish a strategic agenda for dealing with this fact forces and grow despite them a firm must understand how these forces work in an industry how they affect the firm in its particular situation environmental scanning monitoring environmental analysis or scanning is the process of monitoring the events and evaluating trends in the external environment to identify both the present and the future opportunities and threats that may influence the firm's ability to reach its goal features of environmental analysis like holistic exercise continuous activity exploratory process 
there are different techniques of environmental scanning so far we have discussed the constituents of micro and operating environment and how this can be a threat or the opportunity okay there are some uh, sources for environmental analysis like verbal and written information search and scanning spying forecasting okay some of these techniques which are generally used for carrying out environmental analysis are pastel analysis what it of best <coughs> efe matrix cpm forecasting techniques okay in forecasting techniques we will see time series analysis judgmental expert opinion different techniques okay. so uh, pastel what is pastel technique analysis it is checklist to analyze the political economic socio cultural technological environmental and legal aspects of the environment three or four well thought out items that are justified with the evidence that a lengthy list swot analysis uh, we will discuss in the unit 5 a talk is environmental threats and opportunities profile gives a summarized picture of the environmental factors okay <clears throat> first you have to list the environmental factors assess the impact of each of the factor and get a big picture of the different factors efp matrix the external factor evaluation matrix helps to summarize and evaluate the various components of external environment we have to list the 2020 important opportunities and then assign the weights assign assign rating to each of the factor multiply the each factor weight by its rating finally add the individual weighted scores and quest quick environmental scanning technique is a four steps process which uses scenario building for environmental analysis competitive profile matrix cpm this is competitors analysis which focuses on each company against whom a firm competes directly okay forecasting techniques micro environmental and industry scanning and analysis are only marginally useful if what they do is to reveal current condition okay some of the situations which are important time series analysis extrapolation is most widely practiced form of forecasting and simply stated extrapolation is the extension of present trends into the future judgmental forecasting expert opinion delphi techniques statistical modeling modeling cross impact analysis brainstorming and demand hazard forecasting okay these are the different forecasting techniques summary external assessment is a step where a firm identifies the opportunity it involves monitoring evaluating and disseminating of the information the nature and degree of competition in an industry hinges on the five forces to establish a strategic agenda for dealing with this contending current and to grow despite them the process of conducting external environment assessment starts with collating information and intelligence on factors affecting the external environment it is an industry analysis a tool that facilitates the company's understanding environmental analysis or scanning is the process of monitoring the events and evaluating trends in an external environment to identify both present and future opportunities and threats that may influence the firm's ability to reach its goal today we will complete the unit 4 external assessment if you have any query or doubt please ask the query or doubt on the group we will end this meeting thank you everyone